This is a mycotina. It is the largest subphylum that comes under Ascomycota. Almost comprises of so many number of fungi. Now we'll see. My name is N H Shankar Reddy, and I'm doing PhD Plant Pathology in Nanmal University. So here it is the biggest subphylum. Is a Pezzo mycotina is the biggest subphylum that comprises of majority of the Ascomycota group of fungi. Almost 90% of the fungi that comes under Pezzo mycotina. Among that, 40% of the species are lichens. 40% of the species are lichens, which covers almost 8% of the earth surfaces. And these are the major, uh, you know, uh, uh, fixers of the carbon in a terrestrial environment. The, uh, I mean, uh, which lichens, the largest subphylum in uh, Ascomycota. Now we'll see the general features. Uh, general features uh, coming to the general features of uh, uh, Pezzo mycotina. It contains a special vesicle called Voronin body, which comprises of HEX1 protein, HEX or HEX protein, which is the special character which uh, present in the Voronin body, where this protein plays a major role or helpful to seal the septal pore in response of cellular damage. While uh, cellular damage, what will happen? This Voronin body or HEX1, HEX or HEX protein, which closes the uh, septal pore to prevent the cellular damage. So they produce resting structures like sclerotia, chlamydospores and rhizomorphs. These are the resting structures produced by uh, uh, Pezzo mycotina. And the sexual spores produced by uh, Pezzo mycotina are ascospores. Whereas the asexual spores are conidia or idea or thallospores. Now we will see one by one. So as I told you, uh, is the largest uh, subphylum. It contains almost 90% of the fungi. So in Pezzo mycotin contains most of the edible ascomycetes, most of the edible ascomycetes, example, truffles and morels. Here, few of the uh, mushrooms are costly mushrooms that are comes under ascomycota group also. But mostly mushrooms are comes under Bezzo mycota, except a few that is costly mushrooms. Here, that is truffles are very costly mushrooms also take a long time uh, uh, to germinate. Here it is called morels. The both mushrooms are edible mushrooms, but a few of the morels are uh, not edible. That is called false morels, which are uh, deadly poisonous. Uh, these are how truffles look like and how morels look like. Now we'll see subphylum Pezzo mycotina again subdivided into Dothidio mycetes, Eurotio mycetes, Leotio mycetes, Pezzo mycetes, and Sardario mycetes. Now we'll start with the Dothidio mycetes. Now we are discussing about Dothidio mycetes. Here Dothidio mycetes again the class is subdivided into Dothidio mycetes. Cleosporomycetidae and insecticides. Uh, the important fungi only we are going to see here that is order capnodials we are going to see here and then pleosporils. Now we will see order one by one capnodials, pleosporils and botryospherils. Uh, now we will start with uh, capnodiasi. The important fungi capnodials uh, comes, uh, uh, the important fungi that comes under capnodials is capnodiasi. Uh, this capnodiasi with sooty mold which is caused by capnodium. So this capnodium is mostly responsible for the sooty molds. So this is the symptom of uh, sooty mold of mango. Mango sooty mold is caused by capnodium. Next one is mycospirals. So uh, important fungi comes under mycospirals is the spot of groundnuts, which is caused by mycospirella species. Whereas cigatoka leaf spot of banana is caused by mycospirella musicola. On the right side, we will see the uh, symptoms, the call spot. You can see here brown color discolorations can be or spots can be seen on leaves along with the yellow color margins. Yellow color margins. So the thicka leaf spot in groundnut is of two types, yellow thicka and late thicka. You can see here, here only brown color uh, discolorations can be seen with no yellow margin. Whereas here yellow margin can be seen. That is the main difference between yellow thicka and late thicka. So in thicka leaf spots we can see here, you can see here. Uh, brown color, uh, brown ash color discolorations can be start starts later that all the spots unite. What will happen? This uh, they look like to hanging or you know a cigar like appearance or cigar uh, uh, spot like appearance. Uh, that is cigatoka disease of banana, which is caused by mycosperilla. This is the symptoms. This is called black cigar. This is black cigar. Now we will see the next one is a pleosporils. One of the important uh, fungi which are comes under pleosporils is brown leaf spot of rice. Brown leaf spot of rice which is caused by Cochleobolus miabenus or bipolaris varizae which is the responsible for Bengal famine. Which is responsible for Bengal famine. Almost 2 to 3 million people have died due to Bengal famine that comes under pleosporils. 
so another important uh, group that comes under uh, pleosporus is the alternaria species the uh, diagnostic and uh, important symptom that uh, sorry uh, identification characters of the spores are the spores you can see here bell shaped spores almost look like a uh, bell shaped or you know uh, 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 sh shaped spores the identification symptom is alternate and vertical septations can be observed here here the septa are alternate and vertical alternate and vertical septations are the diagnostic symptom of alternaria conidia the next one is venturia so in venturia is a important disease apple scab that is venturia inequalis venturia inequalis which is caused by uh, sorry uh, is responsible for apple scab disease so here the one more important uh, feature or uh, 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 you know character is flame shaped conidia with bicelled ascospore which is produced by venturia ca so flame shaped conidia and with bicelled ascospore which is produced by venturia ca that is apple scab we can see here spots how this corky you know uh, corky or rough surface on fruits can be seen on the leaves also can be observed here see the brown to black color corky uh, outgrowths or rough surface can be observed on uh, uh, apple fruits here why it is called as a uh, 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 no uh, sorry flame shaped conidia sorry the next one is botryospherules so mainly uh, root rots that comes under botryospherules all root rots almost caused by macrophamina is like see here root rottening of roots is the major symptom of root rots you can see here the rotting of that is root rot and another uh, uh, disease important disease that comes under botryospherules is black rot of grapes which is caused by gignardia budweili gignardia budweili here uh, rottening of fruits can be seen here you can see here this symptoms a little bit uh, uh, resembles like uh, grapes downy mildew but not uh, but it is not a grapes downy mildew but it's a black rot of cabbage whereas rottening or uh, uh, little bit shrinking of uh, uh, fruits that is caused by gignardia budweili uh, the next one is we are going to see urosho urosho mycetes urosho the dothrio mycetes is over now we are seeing urosho mycetes the main important fungi that comes under urosho mycetes is aspergillus and penicillium aspergillus and penicillium now we will see one by one so uh, first one is aspergillus so aspergillus is a very dangerous fungi which leads to food toxication animals humans so many uh, grain contaminations and toxications are many diseases not diseases we can say contaminations is mainly responsible due to aspergillus so it is responsible for aspergillosis aspergillosis it is a disease mainly due to aspergillus what will happen if we consume or eat the grains or food products of aspergillus contamination uh, you know uh, uh, we will get sick or uh, in severe cases we may die the toxins which is produced by aspergillus which is uh, severely toxic to humans as well as in animals so it also responsible for food spoilage in post harvest food grains not only food grains and as well as so fruits also can be seen here these are all the symptoms of on um, different media this is pda media mostly black color or you know black mold that is aspergillus niger black color little green color brown color uh, uh, it is uh, produced by aspergillus we can see here aspergillus small spores you can see aspergillus this is aspergillus so now we'll see what are all the different uh, aspergillus species uh, which are there that is aspergillus niger is called as black mold aspergillus niger is called as black mold whereas aspergillus flavus is called green mold aspergillus flavus is green mold aspergillus candida white mold aspergillus tamari brown mold aspergillus ochreacus which is yellow mold of aspergillus these are all the different types of aspergillus species so now we'll see penicillium so penicillium is you know uh, uh, mostly used in the production of antibiotics but the same penicillium is also responsible for the spoilage of food grains as well as post harvest foods we can mostly see in a green color uh, colonies can be observed on uh, uh, you know uh, petri plates you can see here that this is uh, you know chain like uh, conidia you know how can we say that uh, a toilet brush or toothbrush like uh, uh, things can be observed in both to aspergillus and as well as penicillium this is the microscopic image of uh, penicillium this is the microscopic image of uh, penicillium you can see uh, bread get infected by penicillium you can see how bread get infected by penicillium and also by uh, some of the fruits this is a post harvest disease that is caused by penicillium species so here one more thing is penicillium chrysogenum is a species of penicillium that can be used for the production of antibiotic penicillin so antibiotic penicillin is isolated from penicillium chrysogenum 
No, see, we'll see what are the different species of uh, uh, Penicillium. That is Penicillium rocky forti, which is called a blue cheese fungus, which is used for the making of blue cheese, which is a very valuable cheese, uh, mostly produced in foreign countries. So the next one is Penicillium italicum, which is a blue mold fungus, not blue cheese, blue mold fungus. Whereas Penicillium rocky forti is a blue cheese, but Penicillium italicum is a blue mold fungus. Whereas Penicillium digitatum is a green mold fungus. And the last one is Penicillium expansive, which is called as a rot of apple. So rot of apple is mainly due to Penicillium expansive. So now we'll see the major difference between uh, Aspergillus and Penicillium. So don't look into this uh, difference. Now we'll see here itself. So the first one, it starts with the vesicles are present here. Vesicles are present here, but here there is no vesicles can be observed here. Now vesicles are present in Aspergillus, whereas vesicles are absent in uh, uh, Penicillium. See here, phyllides are present in Aspergillus as well as Penicillium. Conidia are same as well as, and the Metula is present, but here uh, Metula type is absent in Aspergillus. But this type are, you know, here the thing is, Conidiopore is non-branched in, uh, non-branched or unbranched in Aspergillus, whereas in Penicillium, the Conidiopore is branched. Inverted T-shaped food cell is present. This, is, if you look like this, inverted T-shaped food cell. It look like to inverted T-shape. So inverted T-shaped food cell is present in Aspergillus, whereas the inverted T-shaped food cell is absent in Penicillium. This is the most important character. And uh, inverted T-shaped food cell, along with there is no, you know, uh, septations can be observed in Aspergillus, whereas septations can be observed in Penicillium. Septations can be observed in Penicillium. These are all the some main differences between. Uh, uh, Aspergillus and uh, Penicillium. Now we will see, we are going to see Leotiomycetes. Leotiomycetes. So, the main uh, important fungi that comes under Leotiomycetes are powdery mildews. So, powdery mildews. Powdery mildews in the sense, uh, powdery growth can be observed on leaves simply. So, white color powdery growth can be observed on uh, leaves, whatever the leaves uh, which are uh, uh, white color symptoms or powdery symptoms can be observed, that is powdery mildew. So, we will see different types of powdery mildew. So, so types of powdery mildews are three types, that is oidium type, oidiopsis type and ovularopsis types. Oidium, oidiopsis and ovularopsis type of uh, powdery mildews can be seen. Now, we will see the main difference here. The mycelium in iodine type is hyaline and septate. Mycelium in iodine is hyaline and septate and ectotrope, ectophotic, ectophytic, sorry, ectophytic. Whereas in mycelium in iodiopsis is hyaline and septate and endophytic. See, mycelium in iodine is hyaline, septate and ectophytic, whereas hyaline, septate and endophytic is a characteristic mycelium of iodiopsis. But in ovular apsis, what will happen? Mycelium is hyaline, septate, ecto and endotrophic. It is both ecto and endotrophic. Hastoria. Hastoria is present in epidermis only in iodium. Whereas, Hastoria is present in epidermis and spongy cells only in iodiopsis. So, in ovular opsis, what will, uh, uh, epidermal Hastoria is absent in uh, 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 ovular opsis. Then, conidiophore is club shaped. Here, long branched septate. Branched and septate. Conidia is cylindrical or barrel shaped. Here, Iodiopsis is single shell club shape. Here, a clavet or club shaped uh, conidia can be observed in Oviloropsis. So, Clistothesium is myceliad appendages. Very, very important. There is a chance that can, uh, not a chance. I have seen many exams. This questions will uh, uh, definitely uh, will ask in many exams. So, the type of uh, Clistothesium are myceliad appendages. In Iodium, myceliad appendages, Iodium, myceliad type of appendages can be seen. Whereas, Iodiopsis, mycelial type of appendages only can be seen. In ovular abscess, bulbous appendages can be seen. So here, clistothesial appendages in uh, iodine and iodiopsis are myceliaid. But in ovular abscess, bulbous appendages can be seen. Examples are very, very, very important. Iodium, erysifae, iodiopsis, levilulla, ovular abscess, phylloctinia. These three genera are the responsible for almost all powdery mildews. All powdery mildews are caused by these three genera only. What are the three genera? That is erysifae. Levilula and Philactinia. As I told, see here, septate, intracellular mycelium. It is it is also septate. You can see it. Oh, what are all the characters that I I I has discussed earlier that we can compare with this uh, diagrammatic representation. These are the three types of uh, powdery mildews. Now we'll see. This is a powdery mildew. Conidia. Chains of conidia can be produced by powdery mildew. You can see here. How the uh, and the surface of leaf, how the conidia are produced, chains of conidia can be produced. You can see here, you can see here chains of conidia. 
So now this is the main difference between uh, powdery mildew and uh, downy mildews. So coming to the symptoms, downy growth or brownish uh, 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 downy growth can be observed on downy mildew infected plants. Whereas in powdery mildew, white color powdery growth can be observed on both surface of leaves. Observed on both surface of leaves. So the type of mildew of downy mildew is a false mildew. Downy mildew is not a true mildew. Whereas powdery mildew is a true mildew, otherwise called a sac mildew. So other names is hairy fungi. Downy mildew is called hairy fungi, whereas powdery mildew is called sac fungi. Uh, so this downy mildew comes under pylum omycota, whereas the powdery mildew comes under ascomycota. Coming to the family, this downy mildew fungi comes under family Peronosporales, whereas uh, powdery mildew fungi comes under family Erysipaceae. So the mycelium type is aseptate, non-septate or cenocytic, contains no septa, whereas in uh, powdery mildew is septate and intercellular. So type of uh, sexual organs. So male reproductive organ is called anthridium, whereas the female reproductive organ is called ugonium. In powdery mildews, male reproductive organ is called anthridium, female reproductive is ascogonium. Coming to the sp spores, in all downy mildew fungi produce U spores as sexual spores, juice spores as asexual spores. Whereas in powdery mildew, all powdery mildew produce ascospores as uh, uh, ascospores as uh, sexual spores. Conidia as asexual spores. So the coming to the important genera, Schlierospora, Peronospora, Plasmospora, that all comes under downy mildew. Whereas powdery mildew, Ancinella, Erysiphae, Phylactinia, Levulula, Podospora, these are all the few genera of uh, uh, powdery mildew. The example is downy mildew of grapes, which is called by Plasmospora viticola. Whereas powdery mildew of grapes, which is called by Erysiphae nicator, and cucurbits powdery mildew is called by Erysiphae kikoraceae. These are the powdery mildews. Mostly powdery mildew is caused by three genera that I told you, Ancinella, Erysiphae, and Phylactinia. Coming to the management, downy mildew can be better managed by the spraying or you know or recommendation of metaloxyl, that is Ridomil, a trade name. Whereas powdery mildew can be better managed by Tridomorph or Calyxin. Next, uh, next class is Pesizomycetes or Pesizials. So these are all the truffles or uh, few of the mushrooms that comes under uh, Pesizials or Pesizomyces or Pesiza, Tuberaceae, Morshell Aceae, Dyskinaceae or Helvel Aceae. Now we will see the important uh, fungi that comes under, that is mushrooms comes under. First one is Pesizaceae. So Pesizaceae is called cup fungi. Example, Pesiza. Why it is called cup fungi? We can see here, uh, look like a cup. That's why called as cup fungi. These are all the pizomycota group of fungi. Second one is tuberaceae. So truffles are comes under tuberaceae. So tuber is called as true truffles. These are true truffles. You can see these are the different types of truffles. So very costly mushrooms also. As far as my knowledge, the kilo ranges from you know uh, five to ten lakhs. And uh, you know I heard that um, a few of the truffles also cost ranges from fifteen to twenty lakhs. But I'm not sure whether it's a true or not. Marshall lacy. So the fungi that are comes under Marshall lacy are morels, bell morels, and false morels. These are comes under. Here Marshall is called sponge mushroom, whereas verba is called bell morels. Here this is verba. It is look like uh, maybe bell. That's why it's called as bell morel. I think so. I'm not sure. So the second one is this is uh, uh, different types of uh, morels. Different types of uh, you know. This is morels. This is bell morels. This is false morals. Look like two morals, but it's not uh, uh, true morals. So it's a deadly, dangerous, and poisonous. So dyskinesia. So gyromitra and uh, uh, sorry, gyromitra, which is considered as false morals. We'll see here. This fungi is a gyromitra. <coughs> Why it is called as false morals? So this structure is resembles like morals. So morals can be edible, but this uh, gyromitra, this type of fungi are not edible. It's a deadly poisonous. It produces a toxin called uh, gyromitrin, very dangerous poison. It can kill human uh, within hours. Next one is Helvell It uh, The special character of Helvell is a shadow shaped apothecia is produced by Helvell We can see here, it looked like shadow shaped. That's why it's called as shadow. You can see here, shadow shaped apothecia. And one more uh, uh, important uh, thing is, it contains a toxin called Helvella toxin and this toxin can be destroyed while cooking. What will happen, we can eat this mushroom while cooking, the toxin present in this uh, Helvella can be destroyed, so it can be edible after cooking. The next one is Sardariomycetes. So now we'll see what are all the fungi that comes under Sardariomycetes. We're not going to see each and everything, we'll see only important fungi. Then uh, Hypocryomycetidae. 
uh, next one is hypocreals the important fungi that comes under hypocreals are uh, trichoderma zebrilla claviceps verticillium so this is trichoderma this is trichoderma which can also use it as a biocontrol agent this is zebrilla you can see conidia like you know harsh shoe shape conidia can be seen here with septations this is claviceps sushlerosia very toxic and poisonous this is verticillium a red color uh, you know streaks are what what we have what we call it as a red color uh, margins can be seen here that is a this is a culture of verticillium now we'll see the uh, life cycle so the uh, symptoms uh, the major major important symptom honey dew like substances are produced from the infected plant grains you can see later on that what will happen these grains are converted into black color light black color uh, powdery masses that which are unfit for consumption if we consume it we will die because of ergotism so the life cycle of ergotism uh, the symptoms include honey dew like substances are produced or uh, uh, pro, uh, produced out from the infected plant parts now we'll see honey dew substances later uh, this is the honey dew like substances this is a very clear symptom honey dew like substances is the clear uh, Uh, symptoms can be seen here which is a very important symptoms uh, which is caused by claviceps purpurea coming to the asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction we get bored with it we will see uh, directly here what will happen the septate mycelium it is germinate and produce conidia here what will happen this conidia pore contains conidia that get infected by the uh, you know uh, uh, sorghum grains sorry uh, kombu grains uh, then it's germinate and produce uh, sporangia with sporangia spores sorry uh, Uh, this uh, 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 you know conidia then what will happen then perithecium can be produced after the perithecium this is what type of uh, this is perithecium type with a small opening or slit called ostiole then what will from that what will happen ascae with ascospores are produced the same uh, germinating ascospore then the life cycle continues here so from this claviceps uh, you know uh, there is a historical uh, background for this claviceps due to the consumption of uh, uh, ergot infected grains that is the uh, claviceps uh, you know uh, ergotism uh, uh, can occur in uh, earlier days uh, you know m- uh, many number of people have died where santoni uh, saint anthony is also uh, a man who founded many number of hospitals uh, to help the ergot infected people there has a great uh, historical importance one more thing that we have to consider here is there is a drug that can be obtained from the claviceps that is lsd which means lysergic acid diethylamide which is considered as a drug of the century which is very important drug that can be obtained from the claviceps so this drug can be helpful for to cure mental problems and the sclerotia that we have seen earlier the sclerotia can be used uh, in olden days by you know uh, 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 sisters uh, sisters in the sense you know uh, 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 used during uh, childbirth to control the bleeding so to control uh, uh, mother's bleeding during childbirth the sclerotia can be used by uh, sisters the next one is magnoporthesia uh, the important fungi comes from the magnoporthesia rice blast that is magnoporthe grisi a uh, diamond color symptoms can be seen here this is the culture so the important uh, character of the spores are spores are two celled with sorry spores are three celled with two septations we whatever the spore we can see there is only two septations can be observed with a three cell so three celled with two septations can be the diagnostic or prominent uh, identification uh, character of the uh, magnoporthes spore that is uh, rice blast spore then uh, now we'll see that uh, uh, sardario mycetes the diaporthels ophiostomels sardarius that comes under we'll see ophiostomels the first one is ophiostomels the important disease the dutch elm disease uh, that is caused by ophiostoma ulmi these are the symptoms of uh, dutch elm disease so this is called bark elm beetle uh, which is the main responsible for the transmission of this is bark elm beetle which is causes a transmit the disease that is a dutch elm disease ophiostoma ulmi sorry which transmit the disease the sardarials that comes under sardarius a so red bread molar comes under the sardarials uh, neurospora crassa so this neurospora or red bread mold is a genetic uh, organism or genetic model organism for the study of all fungi Uh, so uh, in one article i had uh, seen about um, it has also as a capability to produce some energy in future uh, for especially batteries i don't know whether it's a true or not the next one is sardarials ketomyesae uh, this ketomyesae act as a biocontrol against especially oomycetes group of fungi so uh, this uh, ketomium globosum is a biocontrol agent especially used against oomycetes group of fungi is the culture and the spores